The West Haven Black Coalition's 25th annual tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. will be an evening of music, song, and deep reflection honoring the life of this iconic civil rights leader. And here to fill us in is Carol E. Brown from the West Haven Black Coalition. Welcome back, Carol. It's always wonderful to have you here with us. Thank you, and it's always a pleasure for me. Thank you. Let's talk about Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy before we talk about the activities you have planned this weekend. I agree. For, those pe for the people who may not re remember or needs, needs a little bit of a reminder, let's, what is his legacy? The greatest civil rights leader in our time, of all time. He was a man that was peaceful, preached nonviolence and unity. And if I don't do anything else in life. I'm going to stay focused with unity for everything that I do, inclusion for everything that I do. Violence, he would be very upset to know that the violence in this country is taking many, many of our young people away. And so I would hope that through this service, we begin to unite people. The service is going to have a lot of kids in the audience. Kids will understand that that isn't the way to resolve your issues. Dr. King says, no violence. Talk. But the legacy, though, has had an impact. And I know we have a long way to go, but it has had an impact. It has had an impact. It certainly has. The diversity that we have in our program is a reflection of growth. We have it as a center church on the Green in West Haven to unite the total north and south end in West Haven. And you have some wonderful people taking part. Let's talk about those people. We have pianist Hardy Eason. Hardy Eason and Jonathan Behrman are two of the finest musicians in this country. They are outstanding. And we have the Elm City Vocal Ensemble. Yes, you do. And the Unity Boys Choir. Oh, those little boys are so good. And the House of Jacob Choir? The House of Jacob Choir. That church is where we hold all of our meetings, and they've always been a strong support system for us. You also have the Cooperative Arts Magnet School Concert Choir coming in. Yes, we do, and they're outstanding. So this is a jam-packed Yes, concert. a lot of music, a lot of music, and uh, good voices. Absolutely, and again, it's this Sunday at 4 o'clock. How long is the program? Oh, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> <laughs> It's a two-hour program. It could we feed longer. people. It could, oh, you do feed we, people. We feed people. <laughs> they have to come in with that mindset. Oh, it's okay that I didn't eat dinner at 2 o'clock. <laughs> we're going to go to the coalition event because they feed us following the service. You need to know that it is a free, free will offering will be collected. The funds that are raised that day will go to Life Haven. Life Haven is located in New Haven. A very it is a well shelter aware, yes. for women and children. Children, yes. And it does great work. Yes, it does. And you chose that shelter? Why? We, we chose that. Well, we do a different um, organization every year. But we chose that agency because it is for women and children. It's like a family shelter. And we thought we'd be able to help them a little bit. Also participating this year, you have two people who will be reflecting on the impact of Dr. King on their lives. Yes, Mayor April Capone from East, East Haven, Haven yes. and Joyce Petaway from Waterbury. She's an older woman. And what will they be talking about? They're going to talk about the impact Dr. King has had on their lives. And Andrea Jackson Brooks, older woman oh, in New her. Haven, she's <laughs> wonderful and she's always ready and available to help where needed. Absolutely. And also you'll have a keynote speaker. Can't forget the Honorable Luby Harper who is the judge for the appellate court here in Connecticut. Luby is somebody that is from New Haven, graduated from Cross, and goes back, gives back to the community all the time. His message is going to be powerful every time I hear him speak. I never hear the same message, but I know it's going to be tar very, very targeted toward our youth and definitely toward our community. And how large of a venue are we talking about here? Are you going to be able to fit everybody in? We're fitting everybody in. <laughs> You're there get everybody is no in. doubt. We're fitting everybody in. The event is held on the West Haven Green inside the first congregational church. They've allowed us to hold our program there every year. And 
they need to know how grateful we really are. All right, so for those who will be attending on Sunday, what do you hope they will take home with them? They will, first of all, try to re 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 recruit others when they leave, try to recruit others to remember that in unity there is strength. Join an organization, join a club, get involved, give back to the community. We want kids to understand that community service is very, very important. I notice the schools are encouraging it. And so I speak from experience. I've worked in the community all of my life. And so I want people to understand that an organization like West Haven Black Coalition, which is a non-profit civil rights organization, not a national organization, something that I decided we needed in West Haven, do it. It can happen, and the message, but it's hard work. And the message is, of course, for everybody, and especially for the younger generation, a, a diverse population, not a just definite. the African-American population. No, it started out that way, but we are 25 years old, and it's wonderful to stand at the podium and look at our diverse audience. So everybody come. see your faces of yeah. all colors. That's exactly right. And it's free. <laughs> That's right. Good music, good food, good speakers. What else can you ask for? being held in God's home. That's right. That's, again, the information is the 25th annual tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And it, it is this Sunday, January 9th at 4 p.m. at the First Congregational Church on the Green in West Haven. You see the information right there. And of course, you, you can also come to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. Carol E. Brown, again, as well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's always wonderful. To have we'll you see you at the dinner. Yes, the dinner in in February. In February. That's right. Okay. And coming up next, we'll meet the authors of Cooper and Me of a special performance on Stage 8 when Connecticut Style returns.